welcome back to another sewing tutorial. My name is Anne Sophie and I'm the person behind Sewing with Solana. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a super simple mini skirt. I um, was wearing it in a reel that I posted the other day and then I got quite a few messages and I thought I'm going to teach you how to make this today because it's quite simple to make and you can also wear it as a top or you can also wear it as a dress if you make it longer. So there's a lot of options of how you can make your own version of this. And what you need for this sewing tutorial, look, tutorial you need some elastic and mine is 0.7 centimeters wide so it's quite thin and we need quite a lot of elastic. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be using, but I'm just going to insert it here once I'm done and then I will be able to tell you. You need a measuring tape because you need to take your hip measurement and you need to figure out how long you want your skirt to be. And yeah, just your sewing machine, overlock machine if you have one, if you don't have one that's no problem. And as always some needles and today we'll also be using some chalk because we need to make quite a lot of lines, like a lot of marks on our fabric. And yeah, I'm using linen fabric. I've made this skirt in beige before and today I'm going to be making it with this yellow fabric here. And that's it. We're going to be taking our measurement now. You need your hip measurement. So I always recommend to stand up, take your measuring tape and then wrap it around the widest part of your hip. And you still need to be able to move it around a bit. And for me that's 98 centimeters and now I'm going to explain to you how to calculate your measurements for the sewing pattern. So today we just need to cut out two pieces of fabric and they're going to be identical because one time we're going to use it for the front of the skirt and one time for the back. And you need to get your hip measurements and my hips are 98 centimeters and then we're going to add 35 centimeters to that and for me that's 100 and 33 and then we divide it by two because one time for the front and one time for the back which is for me 66.5 so I'm just gonna round it up to 67 centimeters so my fabric needs to be 67 centimeters wide and because I want mine to be quite short I'm gonna make mine 42 centimeters long um, I would always recommend maybe making it a bit longer at the beginning and then before hemming it at the end you can always make it shorter. But yeah, this is what I need. I need to cut out two pieces of fabric like this. So here again, you take your hip measurement at 35 centimeters, then you divide it by two and then you have the width of how wide your fabric needs to be. And then you need to figure out the length and you cut it out two times. Now that we have cut out our fabric, we have two times the identical fabric pieces and what we do now, we lay them on top of each other and now we need to pin along one of the sides. So first we're going to pin it, then we're going to sew it, then we're going to press the seam open and then we're going to overlock it. Um, but yeah, for now we're just doing it to one side and we're going to leave the other side open. And if you don't have an overlock machine, I would just recommend doing it with your normal sewing machine at a zigzag option. And I also filmed a beginner's guide and in the beginner's guide I'm showing you how to do that. So here we have the two fabric pieces, we lay them on top of each other and now we're just going to pin down here. And now we need to sew along here. It is so hot here and I can't open my windows because otherwise there's so much noise from the streets and I also can't put my fan on because otherwise it's also so loud. Uh, so it's a bit hot. 
Um, but anyway, what we are doing now, we are gonna hem the top of the skirt now. So it doesn't matter what you want your top and your bottom to be because they are exactly the same. And for the top, we're gonna make a really small hem. So we fold it down maybe just half a centimeter and then half a centimeter again. And we are also not gonna start at the very beginning. We're gonna start like three or four centimeters away, but then we're gonna hem all the way until the other side, but we're also not gonna hem till the very end here. We're also gonna start and stop four centimeters before the end of the fabric again. Um, it all makes sense at the end because at the end we need to sew all this together and we could also first sew in all the elastics but then all the fabric is so scrunched together that it's quite hard making a small hem. So we're gonna do it at the beginning now and we're just gonna leave the two ends without hemming it because then we can still sew it together nicely and at the very end our last step is going to be hemming the little bit that we left unhemmed. I hope that makes sense, I'm going to show you. <laughs> We're going to start folding it down around here and then we fold it down again and then we can stick some needles in here and we can do this all along. Um, it, it will take a bit of time, but that's fine, like we're not in a rush. Especially when you're a beginner, I would recommend pinning it all down. And also one thing, you need to make sure that the inside of the skirt um, is facing you. And now we're just gonna fold it down till the end. Not the end, till almost the end. to make some marks on the inside of our skirt where we are then going to sew the elastic on um, and there's a few different ways of how you can do it I want to have four lines of elastic and I want them to be at a different distance apart from each other so I'm gonna make the first elastic right below the hem that we have just made so we don't need to have a mark like an extra mark because we can just orientate ourselves on the hem and then I want the second elastic to be three centimeters away from the first one and then I want the third one to be five centimeters away from the second one and then the last one I want to be seven centimeters away so I'm just gonna go over with my measuring tape and my chalk and make all the marks on it but if you want to you can also make them all at the same distance maybe you want them all to be four centimeters apart or five centimeters apart or three centimeters um, but yeah, if you want to make it like my skirt, then just follow me here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure three centimeters from here, from the edge of where the fabric is folded, and I'm gonna make a mark here. And here at the end, I would just recommend folding the fabric down and then still measure from the edge here. And the same we do on this side. We're gonna fold the fabric down. And now we just need to connect those marks that we made. So I'm just gonna take a ruler and just Connect the marks. And now from this line, I'm gonna measure five centimeters down all along, and then I'm gonna connect the marks that we are making now again into a long line.
And now we're doing the same again, but this time I'm measuring seven centimeters down from this mark here. So I hope you can see it on camera, but the first line of elastic I'm going to sew right under here, then the second row right here, then another one here and another one here. I'm going to set my sewing machine now to a zigzag option. My length is at 2 and then the width up here I'm going to set to 4. And I'm just going to pin down this little part that we didn't hem off the top of the skirt just so I have my line um, where I'm gonna sew the elastic along and then I'm also gonna do the same on the other end just gonna fold it down and stick a needle in it and what we do now we are going to sew the elastic on here and let me bring this a bit closer while we are sewing we are going to stretch the elastic because then the fabric will scrunch together and it's important that every time when you start and when you stop sewing at the beginning of the fabric and at the end that you do a bit of a front and back stitching to make sure that the stitching doesn't open up again so we put the foot down and then at the beginning we're not going to stretch the elastic like the first few stitches we're just going to normally sew and now we can start stretching the elastic. I'm going to pull this needle out again so the foot can glide over the fabric better. And here you can already see that the fabric is scrunching together. And now I'm going to stop pulling again and do some front and back stitching. And now first we cut the thread off and then we can cut the elastic off. So this is what the inside looks like now. And this is what the outside looks like. And now we're going to repeat that. And this time instead of following the line of the hem here, we're just going to follow the lines that we have marked on our fabric. So now that we have already sewn in the first two rows of elastic, it's time for the second row. And for me personally, after I've sewn in the first two rows, I like to turn the fabric around so that instead of the side where the elastic is already sewn in is on the inside of the sewing machine. For me, it's easier now flipping it towards the outside and yeah, move on to the third row.
And now we have to sew in the last row of elastic. And now it's up to you, like if you want to, you can add another row of elastic, um, yeah, just try it on, like if you want to wear it as a top, if you want to wear it as a dress, if you want to wear it as a skirt, depends a bit what you're making, um, but I'm happy with four rows of elastic. So now I we need to uh, close this side of the skirt, so we're going to make sure that the good side is facing each other. And now we need to pin this together and just when you pin it together make sure that the elastics of each row are lining up and yeah, then we're gonna sew it. And I'm gonna start first lining up my elastics, sticking a needle in it. And here, now you also understand why we didn't hem the top all the way, because now we can pin this together and then once it's sewn we can just fold it again and hem it closed. And now I'm just going to pin it all the way down. Oops. And now we are going to sew along here. Before we start sewing you just have to make sure again to set your sewing machine to a straight stitch and I put my stitch length again to two and a half and reduce the width to zero. Now we are going to press the seam open again and then we're going to overlock it and then I'm going to show you what we do next.
So now we're just gonna hem the little part of the top that we haven't hemmed at the beginning. So we're just gonna fold it inwards oops, and just gonna sew along here so it's all looking like this. Now I would recommend you to try your skirt on to figure out how wide you need to make your hem or like how long you want your skirt to be. Maybe you can cut a few centimeters off or maybe you're just gonna make a wider hem or maybe you make a really small hem. Depends how long you want it to be. So try it on and then we can go ahead and hem it. Now that we have tried our skirt on, what we have to do now, we just need to hem it, so we do exactly what we did back here, and then we are finished. And that's it for today's sewing tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section or send me a message on Instagram. I'm always happy to help out. And also I think my next video is gonna be an, a Q&A, like, because I get so many questions every day on Instagram about sewing, about sewing machines, about fabrics, about everything. So I thought maybe it would be good to answer them in depth with a video. And yeah, with this skirt I made all the elastics at a different distance apart from each other but when I made it into a top, like I made a skirt and a matching top for it in beige and for the top I made the elastics all at the same distance apart but yeah, I think the, cool, like, the coolest part about sewing your own clothes is that you can really make it how you want it to look in the end um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you at my next video